Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it is time to talk about Hogwarts Legacy again because that is all that these people on Twitter are obsessed about. That this game exists. This game has been incredibly financially successful. It's been critically successful by those who reviewed it fairly. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, for the few game journals that actually gave it a fair review. And it seems like a lot of the news outlets now, a lot of the gaming journals are just kind of like, yeah, here's a strategy guy, whatever, we're over it. There are some holdouts like Kotaku and Vox and the gamer that will not let you forget that JK Rowling exists and they don't like her. But for the most part, it seemed like it kind of died down, but not really. Because again, you know, we talked about how uh, VTuber Pikami got basically bullied off of, uh, you know, VTubing. Off of oh, that platform. made me so mad too, especially when like she was so anti-bullying because of stuff she went through, and then they did that. Oh, I'm so pissed. Yeah, so she's gonna be quitting. I'm sorry, graduate. She's gonna be graduating at the end of the month. She's done. She's hanging it up, and a lot of people think it's because of Hogwarts Legacy. I don't think she. She didn't out. even play it. No, she. All she did was say she was going to play it, or she was thinking about playing it, and that's all it took for them to harass her. And apparently, there's more to it. So we don't really follow VTubers mm -hmm. that much. But now I'm just mad. But the backstory here, I guess, from what I have been told, is that um, she is a mixed race. She lives in Japan, but she's got blonde hair. And she used to get bullied in school over there. And because uh, contrary to popular belief, you know, even though you guys watch anime, like a lot of Japanese people don't have purple and green hair or blonde hair. And she got she got bullied. And so I, I guess it just hit too close to home for I her. Mean, I, and, that's, and the reason I fight this stuff, like, why do you care? You don't watch her anyway. I get mad when I see this happen because I was bullied horribly in school because um, of my hair. Um, we didn't have a big class of kids. So they, they since it was a smaller class, they would pick somebody to pick on and usually it was me it was because my hair was red and I was chunky so they would pick on me horribly I told you like before the story that for like a while when sixth grade the whole class just stopped talking to me like no one would talk to me just because they decided that day that I was the one that they were gonna you know be that be that way too and previously they tried it to a couple of other girls and I wouldn't I wouldn't go along with it I'd still play with them talk to them because I thought it was mean and I wouldn't I wouldn't be part of it. And then when it came to my turn, they were so afraid of being ostracized again. They all just joined in with them. And they I was they didn't want to go to school. I was upset all the time. People it was horrible. They just wouldn't even speak to me. Like they ignore me at recess. They wouldn't sit with me at lunch. I was in scouts for years and I didn't even go to the the moving up ceremony or anything. And I was there longer than anyone because why well, bother? Because everybody was going to be mean to me. So I won't stand for this shit. And when I see this, I, especially her story, I get really upset because I'm like, fuck that. This is stupid. She didn't even play the damn game. When she realized that you guys had a problem with it and were upset about it, she didn't even play it. She did not play the game. So you got what you wanted, and that still wasn't enough because it's never enough. Well, in, in this case, and I'm not going to go into... Fuck you. Ooh, hey. <laughs> in this case, uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but apparently 4chan has found the names and addresses of some of her serial Which I boxers. also don't agree with, but, you know, I, I get why, but I mean... I, I, you know, I, I am I am against doxing. I, I'm I've said, against doxing. I've said that multiple times. The flip side of that is sometimes to protect yourself. You might have to. Sometimes to protect yourself, if somebody is going to dox you, it might be in your best interest to know who you're dealing with. And, uh, you know, yeah, so we have folders on people. We know who we're we, actually with. Do. we don't post their information. No, but no, we no. have it. No, no, no. We, uh, we actually, yeah, we actually have had some information compiled for some people that have, have come after us just in case, uh, just in case we have to play that card. And I hope, I hope to God we, we don't, but anyway, so Pika me, you know, was, uh, taken down silver veil said she's going to keep doing it. But yeah. Good. Be a now, fucking wizard. Right. Um, now, We've talked before about uh, how so many of the Harry Potter actors have thrown J.K. Rowling under the wheels of the bus. And it's actually, from my point of view, pretty disgusting, even if you don't agree with her, to distance yourself from her as much as you have because you literally owe your careers to her. Mm -hmm. Like you do. Like, yeah. They oh, and they said that. Of course, she's, she's you know, defending her. She owes her career to her. That's, yeah. a, that's the other that's the other side of it. They'll be like, well, you're only defending her because of that. Yeah, but it's true. Because unless you actually physically go over and like you know destroy them yourself, you're it, the the you you never can do enough. The the line the goalpost keeps moving no matter what. Right until until Daniel Radcliffe 
you know, grabs her arms and holds her back. So, so uh, Emma Watson can slap her across the face a few times, like mm-hmm. during, during like the Academy Awards or some shit that they're not going to be happy. Right. And even um, if she would apologize tomorrow and say, they'd or, say that it's, not, it's not enough. It's, it's not, not enough. enough. It's not enough. And they Donate about all real, your money to whatever cause. They thought about real world harm. It's like, you guys are, I can tell you the people who are doing real world harm at this point are you. Yeah. And this is again, the unfortunate side effect of this. And we've said it multiple times is now, People are going to associate trans activism with this insanity. And and you, there actually are people that have turned against trans folks, uh, I believe, because they've seen this and they're like, oh, my God, this mm-hmm. is ridiculous. Like I, I used to consider we've had people in our comments be like, I used to consider myself an ally, but I'm, they're like, hey, I'm not on board. But with the thing this, is, you know? have to understand that not every trans person is like this, no. that these are just it, these and a lot of people who are doing it aren't even trans. You have to understand that. Like these not every trans person is terrible because of these people. And then the other the other wrinkle to this is you don't know since you're dealing with anonymous trolls on the internet, you don't know who they are, what their intentions are. You don't know if they're actually allies, you know what I'm saying? Or they're, or they're just trying to stir up shit. Stir up shit just to watch the, the world, world burn. burn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't know if and it's the same like we used to get people that were quote unquote our followers well, they were stir up bad faith arguments on Twitter, but they were a caricature of what they thought our followers were actually like, and they got so many things wrong. So it was a false flag, you know, operation type thing. So I mean, it, the problem is nobody knows what the hell is actually going on, but whatever the deal is, the fact that you, we've got game journals out there echoing a lot of the sentiments that these these activists that are bullying people are, basically, the, you know, it does lend some credibility of the fact that there's some kind of coordinated effort going on, you know, when there's an mm. entire effing website that pops up overnight that that lets you track who's streaming this game. Anyway, um, Ivana Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood, who, if I remember her story correctly, she was a Potter fan who basically got plucked out of obscurity to play Luna Lovegood. Like, they had open tryouts mm-hmm. for her, and she was like a huge well, like Potter head. And, yeah. And uh, she got to play Luna Lovegood. And uh, that was pretty cool. But she's actually defending J.K. Rowling. We'll talk about that, how they're trying to cancel her. Uh, we're going to talk about Babish. Uh, the the Yeah, Babish. It's nothing to – the guy cooks. He cooks on YouTube. And there are articles out there now talking about what an awful person he is because he had, a, he had a teaser for Hogwarts Legacy in one of his videos. He probably got paid very, very well to throw a 30-second Honestly, trailer. he has an agent. They might not even know that they were running the ad. It might just gone on to it. He, the guy's a chef. He probably doesn't even know what the hell's going on. Like, oh, Harry Potter thing. Okay, because he was it was in a, a British cooking video, like, you know, British mm-hmm. food. And his agent probably just brokered the deal and was like, hey, you want $100,000 to throw a trailer for Hogwarts into one of your videos? It's like, hell yeah, I don't have to do anything. Because I don't think he did. He didn't even do the read or anything. I think they just like plopped the trailer in his his video. I'm like, it's easy money, man. But oh, it's blood money. So <laughs> anyway, before we get into it uh, any way, further. like, subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yay, we're almost at 300,000. Woohoo. Let's yeah, get to the point. Okay, get to the point. Um, Luna Lovegood actor receives huge backlash from fans after defending J.K. Rowling. Of course she did. Uh, Lynch was quizzed about Rowling's controversial tweets during a recent interview with The Telegraph, saying she had compassion for both sides of the argument. You're not allowed to do that. There's only one side, their side. Oh, boy. Since then, the actor has come under fire for defending the author with LGBTQ plus fans who have taken to Twitter to express their frustration. Twitter, of course. Um, She talked about uh, how she joined her co-stars in condemning Rowling in 2020. She did. I think it's irresponsible to discuss such a delicate topic over Twitter through fragmented thoughts. And I wish Joe wouldn't actually. I don't disagree with her that on that. I do agree. That's a very fair statement. We said before that regardless of where she stands on things, you know, taking it to Twitter, I think they needed to take her phone away for a while. Cause she was like, she was really embarrassing herself. She was like, I mean, I get being mad. Yeah. And she's probably like, Hey, you bitches know who I am. I'm the richest author in the world. Ah, except for James Patterson. Um, no, there's probably other people too, but yeah, she's one of the richest authors in the world. Right. And people say and do stupid things on Twitter when they're angry. Cause it's so easy to just fire off a tweet. And she was like copy and pasting, uh, like, Articles like anti-trans articles and and pasting it with like kids. No, she actually sent something to it was about a kids' artwork piece and and sent them this thing and it was it was it was was an accident. Yeah, but still, it was like, look, Joe. Obviously, you're you're rage tweeting at this point. Like, put the fucking phone down. You can make your point. Take a take a breath. 
take a breath and walk away from it. I get, I get being mad and I get wanting to fight back because you think people are, are mis, you know, are misunderstanding you or mislabeling you or whatever. But it didn't help. It really, really, really didn't help. It just made it worse. Yeah. And when you're somebody of, of that stature, like you've already got people gunning for you for a variety of reasons. It's like you really kind of, I think if you're going to put a statement out there, you kind of need to Chris Pratt it and just kind of like say your piece and walk away from it. You know, instead yeah. of getting like knee deep into it. That's my personal opinion. But, but uh, I don't think this is an unfair take. It's like, I no, think it's it, you shouldn't to talk, talk about such a delicate topic on Twitter with fragmented thoughts. And basically, you probably shouldn't. And just for your own career, because these people are, are like, we literally spend all day looking for anything that they, they think they could twist or take as, you know, negative. Right, right. Um, so what happened was when she made the comments, the media went around and basically quizzed. <laughs> they know, did. They, they did. Uh, in umbrage, pure umbrage fashion, the media went around and quizzed all of the actors and actresses that worked in the Harry Potter franchise to get their take on J.K. Rowling. And some of them probably barely knew her. I mean, well, she, she showed up she on She didn't set. want to be. She, she, she was dragged into a conversation. Same with Tom Felton. You could tell Tom Felton was kind like of like. they weren't. You have to say something. You have to say something or we're going to drag you. We're gonna, they're going to drag you either way. Yeah. It's basically what they're saying. So, you know, are you going to let us drag you, you know, drag you because you're bad? Or are you just going to let us lift you up because we think you're you're one of us? Potions class student number five. Yeah, you were in the movie for like 30 seconds. What's your hot take on J.K. Rowling? Do I need to drag you or uplift you? You're one of us or are we going to just slam you into the mud? You know, because that's that's how it works. It's all or nothing. There's no two sides. There's no looking at both sides or opinions. It's just you are, you are, you should be dead because how dare you? So she says, she told the publication, I felt that her character had always been to advocate for the most vulnerable members of society. The problem is that there's a disagreement over who's the most vulnerable. I do wish people would just give her more grace and listen to her. Yeah, because there, well, it, there is getting to a point where it's like, it doesn't matter what she says, it's how they interpret what she says, and that's what that's that, that's what it is. It's the gospel. Yeah. Gospel yeah. according to Twitter. Um, she said that she gets that uh, people are too triggered to be able to have a conversation. Uh, she said, I also think it's important that J.K. Rowling has been amplifying the voices of detransitioners. I had this impulse to go, let's all just stop, stop talking about it. I think I probably am a bit braver now about having uncomfortable conversations. She's talking about her own experiences as a teenager. Uh, her comments have disappointed many of her fans and those in the tra- Of course. Of course it has. Uh, one fan said that Lynch had ignored the damage Rowling's comments had done to various communities, including trans people. They also referenced accusations of anti-Semitic stereotypes in the Harry Potter books, The Goblins, which, again... We're not going to go into that again. We're yeah. not going into that again, but isn't it curious that there wasn't a big deal made about The Goblins? There was, but not to the level... Not to this extent. To, that level, to the level it is now, yeah. Because you have to support that not only, not only is she anti-trans, but she's probably a Nazi, too. So, you know, because the goblins, even though they exist in like so many other, like, honestly, I look at her goblins, I'm thinking like Hoggle from Labyrinth, you know? Yeah. But a little stingier. Um, One fan said that Lynch, yeah, ignored the damage. Tweet said, uh, so Ivana Lynch is saying that we need to give grace and compassion to JKR, you know, grace and compassion to things she refuses to give the trans or Jewish community. No, see, that's not true. That's, you're just bleeding, you're just, you're, that's argument's not true. Basically, I'm not getting my own way. She's not giving by grace. That means I. You need to just take my opinion and my word, and that's all you listen to. By saying let's talk about it, I think maybe we're misunderstanding people. I think that people are getting too emotional and then not hearing what the other person says is a fair statement. Then they have a fit about it because you're not doing whatever they say. These, then you're proving her right. <laughs> these sound like copy paste statements from people on Twitter, and I'm like, are these people actually her fans, or are they part of a coordinated? Well, they're almost attack. always coordinated. Because, um, again, it's a random comments. It's, it's so crushing when someone who portrayed a character you're related to ignores harm done to people. Others quickly joined in. Okay, but you guys are harming people yourselves. But the fact that you're behaving this way and attacking her and attacking, you know, anybody who buys the game, even aside from J.K. Rowling and people that are actors in the, in the franchise, somebody says they're going to play a game and then you guys bully this person to the place where they, 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 they don't even want to do VTubing anymore. It was something they loved. It was one thing that brought them joy. You are not the good guys. You are causing so much division and you are not helping your quote unquote cause in any way, shape or form. You're actually probably causing more bigotry, hatred, damage to people you're claiming to defend than if you had just been at least tried to be understood, gracious or, you know, not been an asshole. 
you know, people brought that up to some of the, the really outspoken activists on Twitter and their attitude is basically like, well, to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. You know, they some, said that some, something to that effect is like, well, oh basically God. our, our, our pain outweighs their pain. Our pain. It's okay if we, if we, you know, and destroy yes. some of our people yes. in our, in our, yes. our group. Yes. Um, and that's, what's going to happen. There are, there are trans people who are going to be unfairly targeted now they already are. Be, because they're going to look at the situation and be like, my God, this whole, you guys are bad shit crazy. You know, they and, were saying um, they they want to play the game. They bought the game, but they can't talk about how they played the game yeah. or they have to hide that they play the game because if they don't, the, the, the harassment, the, the bullying, the stuff that they'll take be you know, over it. I mean, this is bullshit. You know, it's, it's like fucking gay. <sighs> It's, and again, we're not seeing the outrage over Funko. They just announced a whole bunch of new Harry Potter and Hogwarts legacy toys that probably wind up in a dumpster. <laughs> but, oh, man, oh, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, Lego and Universal and all these other companies that make Harry Potter merchandise. I saw Harry Potter greeting cards today at the store. Um, are you going to go after like Hallmark or whoever has the license for that? You know, what are you going to do? Well, it always gets me too about these groups and kind of like what we're talking about down below about, you know, I see somebody queer and trans because you know people who had identification that, that, okay. We keep seeing this too. This is the other, other thing. And it's not necessarily just Harry Potter, but because a character, a character, you know, is a certain way or, or like fear or something. That's obviously an allegory for, yeah. and they, and they're, they're trans because we said so. <laughs> They're LGBTQ because we said so. It was no indication the character ever was, or that was the intent of the author, but because they feel a personal connection that's theirs. I licked it, it's mine. So, yeah, I mean, look, uh, the media is definitely mining any and all outrage about this game, too. So it's, it's this weird cycle where we've got certain media outlets dunking on Hogwarts Legacy, which is actually driving people to go try to cancel anybody who's you know trying to even remotely support J.K. Rowling. And then we've got, you know, outlets like Vox that are like, you know, uh, here's an anti, they're doing like multiple anti JK Rowling articles, right? They, they just like churn them out like crazy. The big button at the top. Yes, I'll give money. Oh, but don't you know, it's just YouTubers who are monetizing It's this. just YouTubers that are monetizing the hate, right? Uh, but that is, you know, obviously this is them too. Here it is, another uh, Harry Potter video game became an ethical minefield. Here, give us some money, guys. Give us some money because Vox is in deep trouble right now, you know, financially. So that's what a lot of this is about, too. I don't think a lot of it is legit outrage. I think some of it's being uh, ginned up by the media to, you know, create a, another Gamergate type situation that can be monetized. Like, oh, my God, guys, did you hear the latest about the... Hogwarts legacy supporters are going to better go get them. Oh my God, I went through everything frame by frame and I saw one box on a shelf that I thought was a color that shouldn't have been there. That just means they're anti, insert something else. Yeah, go get them so we can write an article about how you went and got them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, so Babish got it too. They're writing articles about that. We were actually on that before, but here again, the articles are just like, here's a bunch of tweets of people that are disappointed in Babish. I'm gonna unsubscribe. I'm unsubscribing from Babish. I'm sure it didn't do any damage to him whatsoever. I know it didn't. I mean, Grant, you're not gonna see it because you know he's got 10 million subs. So the only time the counter rolls over for him is when he hits another million subs. Right. So it's it's done absolutely nothing. It hasn't done anything. And this is the day I think he posted the video. He got uh, 1.6 million views, you know, and, and it hasn't done anything, guys. And at the end of the day, it, it was done a lot, but it's not done what you intended. No. At the end of the day, I think it's actually driven sales. I think it's actually caused more people to buy the game to fight back against this. To you know, be more you know leery of you know trans people. Yeah, I mean it's it's actually done more damage all the way around. But uh, hey, uh, J.K. Rowling is still rich. She's getting richer, and uh, there's probably going to be sequels, and they might even do an HBO Max show based on it. And who knows? Uh, who knows? Now I don't think. Yeah, it but it's not her who's going to ultimately be harmed. No, no, she's just going to collect the check, and mm -hmm. she's going to keep on tweeting, guys. That's you know the truth. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.